I am Madhumita. I am from Physical Science Department. I belongs to Section B. Uh, now I am going to explain about gravitation and S block elements. This is my topic. I am going to explain to you. Okay. Uh, these are the contents. Uh, these are the contents in the study. That is, uh, what is gravitation and what is the law of gravitation? That's a Newton's law. Then about the two instances of the gravitation, then the Kepler's law, then, the about, then uh, we are going to about see the S block elements, then the electronic configurations of that, then the properties, that is physical and chemical properties, then the diagonal relationships. So this are we are going to see. Then about gravitation, we know gravitation is a uh, universal force and it acts not only between the two objects. It's a force, it's a universal force that is between all the objects in the universe. That is called a gravitation. That uh, gravitation is a natural phenomenon by which all the things with the mass or energy including planet, stars, galaxies and even light are brought toward one another. That means not only the things or that or that, all the things in the universe are held together by the help of this gravitation. Okay. Okay, then we are going to see about law of gravitation. Okay, there is a Newton law. Newton law states that every particle attracts every other particle in the universe with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the centers. Okay, here the images are representing you. That is a formula. That is F, that is a gravitation force that is equal to the, that is a product mass 1 and mass 2. That is a product, that is a proportionality and inversely proportional to the square of the distance. That is R square. So G is the gravitation constant. We know that the gravitation constant that is 9.8 meter per second square. That is a gravitation constant. So this is the formula for the gravitation force. Okay. Then we are moved to the gravity in earth. Then no gravity in space. These are the two things. Uh, we know in earth, in our earth, we feel the gravity. There is a gravity in the earth. You know what do you mean by gravity? If I throw a ball to the uh, upward direction, it will come back to my hand. That is called gravity. Because due to the gravity presence in the earth, the ball come at balls attracted by the atmosphere. That's the earth. That's why the ball come to bam back to us. Here the picture explains that. How actually our Newton uh, find the gravity and discover the gravity uh, by sitting under the tree. Uh, at that time, the apple is fall from the tree. Then he uh, realized and discovered that gravity on the earth. Okay. Then all so much of scientists, so many scientists are uh, moving to the space. That is the Mars or Moon or anything else. They are moving to the space. But at that time, they uh, no feel the gravity. They are flying. They are not uh, able to walk or uh, anything else. They are flying because there is no gravity or a less level of gravity. So only Earth, the gravity is presented. This is the important thing. Then... Okay, now the Kepler's law. Kepler's law. There's a three laws are there. First law states that planetary orbits are elliptical with the sun at a focus. This is the first law state. This uh, actually Kepler, uh, Kepler law is between the sun and the planets. So that relationship shows these three laws. First law, the planetary orbits are elliptical with the sun at a focus. Then the second law says that the radius vector from the sun to your planet sweeps equally areas in equal times. This is the second law says to us. This is, uh, there are the pictures about that. You can able to know what the kind of things is happening here. Then about the third law. The ratio of the square of the period of re revolution. Revolution and the cube of the ellipse semi-major axis is the same for all the planets that says the third law this is the third law 
So these are the representations of these three laws. Okay. Now we are going to see about the S block elements. We know about the periodic table. There is a modern uh, periodic table. There is a Mendeleev's discovered that modern periodic table. There are also some old periodic tables also there. At that periodic table, the first block element that is S block elements. This is S block element. That is the yellow color. Yellow color thing is the S block elements. So we are going to see about this elements. Okay, what is mean by X block elements? S block elements having the only one electron in their S orbital that is called as S block elements are also called as alkali metals as well as alkaline earth metals also present in these things. Um, then and, and the next one is uh, the electron present in an atom that occupy various suborbitals of available energy levels in the order of increasing energy. So, in the order of increasing energy only, the electrons fill the shells. That's the thing. Uh, then, uh, an important thing is, accordingly, the elements of the atom having the lost valence electron present in the S orbital are called the S block elements. This is the thing. Okay. Here, we are going to see about the electronic configuration of the S block elements. We know that the S block element is lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, these are the things. For example, if you take the lithium, this electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s1. Likewise, is the electronic configuration of the S block. Here, beryllium, magnesium, these are also belongs to the S block elements. Then, properties. What are the properties in the S block elements? Actually, um, I will say that uh, things, the points are there. Uh, in the S block elements, that the atomic and ionic sizes are low, low atomic and ionic size, but the charge density is greater. The size is low, but the density, charge density is higher. That means the charge or volume of the atom. Other uh, polarization is also greater. Then the d orbital is absent in that S block elements. Uh, if you take an S block, the d orbital is completely absent. Then, greater polarization of the S block elements, okay, uh, greater polarization of the S block elements make the first element more covalent and differentiate them from the rest which are ionic. So, if you are a uh, S block element is greatly polarized, that make the first element more covalent and differentiate them from the rest of the ionic things. So, this is the thing. The similarity in size and charge density makes them resemble the element a di diagonally placed in the next group. If um, element is similar in the size and charge density, then it is diagonally resemble, diagonally resemble the element in the present in the next group. This is the diagonal relation. We will see about the diagonal relations afterwards. So, these are the things of the that. If then last point, one thing is said that is observed that physical and chemical properties of the S block elements change in a particular trend as the atomic number of the elements increases. If the atomic number of the element increases, then the physical and chemical properties getting changed. This is a thing. Okay, then now we are going to see about the chemical properties of the S block elements. Here, chemical properties, we are taking the atomic and ionic radii. So, in the, when the S block elements of the modern periodic table are observed that if the size of the alkali metals is large compared to the elements in the particular period. So, this is the thing. Then, as the atomic number, atomic number of the element is increases, then the number of electron increases with the addition of cells. Then, on moving down the group, the atomic number getting increases. We know that at the moving down the group, the atomic number getting increases. So, as a result, the atomic ionic radius of the alkali metal increases. Which means, I will explain, if the atomic number is greater or the atomic number is increases, then uh, the atomic ionic radius of the alkali metal is also getting increases. This is the chemical properties. Then, physical properties. Physical properties, you know, with the melting, boiling point, these are the things come under the physical properties. 
So here what is going to say that in the S block element the density we all already see density of the alkali metal increases down the group density getting increase already see density increases down the group exception the density of the potassium is less than the density this is only the ex expection uh, in this S block elements otherwise it is getting increased when it is down the group. Then uh, alkali metals have a low melting and boiling point due to the weak metallic bonding that is the melting and boiling point is very low. Alkali metals and the respective salts capable to impart color to the oxidizing flame due to heat generated from the flame because which excite the uh, balanced electron from one energy level to the another energy level. This help in the deduction of the alkali metal during the flame test. Okay, actually what does it say here? During the flame test, we can easily able to identify the alkali metals because al alkali metals are able to give the color on the oxidizing flame. That's why we are easily able to identify because um, heat generated from the flame which excites balance electron does a balance the lost shell electron from one energy level to another energy level is can be excited. That's why it gives the color. We know excitation happens and only it gives the colors. So these are the physical properties. Finally, we are coming into the diagonal relationship. A diagonal relationship in S block element that is uh, exit between adjacent elements which are located in the second and third period of the periodic table. This adjacent elements. Second and third periodic table that is adjacent elements. So here this is a diagonal relationship between them. What kind of relationship? For example, lithium of group 1A and second period shows similarity with the properties of magnesium. Magnesium is present which are located in the second group and third period. Do you understand? A group 1A and second period that is the lithium that gives a diagonal relationship between with the magnesium that is present in the group 2 and third period. Do you know the like relationship? Uh, okay, uh, lithium and magnesium. Okay, I will show the S block element then you can understand the diagonal relationship okay okay here you can see that lithium there is a group 1a but is the second period okay then this is the group 3 but is in the third period so these two are in the diagonal relationship this is we said diagonal relationship now in a so these in diagonal. So this diagonal relationship is there in the S block element. This is the thing we have seen. Okay. Okay, we are moving to that slide. This is the thing. Group 1A. Okay, this is a group 1. This is the group 2. This is this is a period. We are already seen it in the uh, thing. Then similarly, properties of Beryllium which are located in the second group and second period show a likeness with properties of aluminium which located in the third period third form. So similarly no some another example is there. Okay this is the diagonal relation between the S block elements. Then uh, another point is the two elements which show similarities in the property that is called as diagonal parallel diagonal if uh, two elements that shows the diagonal relation then they that call this diagonal pair or diagonal neighbors the properties of the block uh, s block elements vary significantly when compared to the other elements of the subgroup they belong to this is another point then the diagonal labor show a lot of similarity such as relation exhibited as a move left to right and down the group so the periodic table has opposing factors so there's a lot of similarity in the diagonal relationships so these are the references I have taken the uh, things uh, I refer to the um, school's uh, books and also the bo book referred by the um, Charles W. Misner and uh, Y. Mido. They are also refer that books also and refer the websites also. I have taken this notes. I have prepared. Thank you so much.